continues to cement its reputation as a top manufacturer of sophisticated combat drone, the Bayraktar KIZILELMA Fighter U-80 will be a force to be reckoned with specifically given its aggressive maneuvering capability and stealthiness against radar. What's more, the Bayraktar KIZILELMA Fighter U-80 will be able to take off and land on short runway aircraft carriers and carry out missions with internally carried munitions. The Kizaloma is an unmanned aircraft featuring a very sophisticated RCS supersonic airframe equipped with an AESA radar. The aircraft is powered by a turbofan engine fed by two air inlets. Yaw control is achieved with two vertical stabilizers. The aerodynamic controls feature Kinnard's Delta configuration, previously only seen on certain stealth aircraft such as Chengdu G-20 and AVIC Dark Soar. The canards offer a trade-off between relatively less stealth but great maneuverability. Some control measures could be implemented to reduce its impact on radar signatures. The Kizaloma has a maximum takeoff weight, MTOW of 6,000 kilograms, 13,200 pounds, with 1,500 kilograms of set weight available for the payload. According to data shared by the company, the Kizaloma will have an operational altitude of 35,000 feet, 10,670 meters. The Barrington Kizaloma Combat Drone completed autonomous taxi and takeoff run tests ahead of its first flight. The Kizaloma is being developed as a stealthy unmanned combat aircraft with characteristics similar to manner fighter jets. With a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons, the drone is planned to have a 1,500 kilogram payload capacity. It will be capable of conducting air to ground and air to air missions. The drone is expected to be carrier capable and has thus been designed to land and take off on short runways. Kizaloma will be able to fight against warplanes, their actor said. Besides, its cruising time is several times longer compared to Baker's latest drone, the Akinsey Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle UCAV. The uncrewed fighter jet is projected to conduct a multitude of military actions, such as strategic offensives, close air support CAS missile offensives, suppression of enemy air defenses SEAD, and destruction of enemy air defenses DEF. It is projected to be capable of flying for 5 hours and reaching speeds of up to 800 km per hour 500 miles per hour, or max 0.64. The National non meridic Combat Air Vehicle System IUS, named Kizaloma. Red Ape has low detection capability and hypersonic speed, is an important and strategic project as it is expected to ensure independence. The rapid drone fighter jet Kizaloma represents a significant expansion of capabilities for slow-moving reconnaissance and missile-carrying drones. It will be able to take off and land on a short-run aircraft carrier including Turkey's flagship amphibious assault ship TD Anadolu. The company said the autonomous maneuvering Kizaloma would be able to operate jointly with piloted aircraft capable of carrying air-to-air -air missiles. A new Turkish drone powered by a jet engine shows an exterior feature similar to a fifth-generation fighter jet. Baker said, in addition to the conventional drone mission, Kizaloma will be able to carry out airstrikes into the air. It will be equipped with the locally made Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA radar. Unlike unmanned aerial vehicles, Kizaloma will also provide effectiveness against air targets with domestic air air munitions. With these abilities, it will change the balance on the battlefield. It was showcased at Technofest, Turkey's largest aerospace and technology festival in the northern province of Samson attracting great attention despite ongoing design and development efforts. The Kizaloma is being as a stealthy unmanned combat aircraft with characteristics similar to manner fighter jets.